hello friends welcome back to my channel today i have come back with a different vlog in which i will be sharing my little bit of morning routine and festive sweet recipes before we get started with the video i would request all of you to do like share and subscribe to my channel live tasty be happy fall season has already started and trees started changing its color but still i am not seeing very good color in and around my location towards the north of our state the colors are very vibrant and nice friends were sharing their experience but this year we did not go for any fall uh, drive because we have a little busy schedule these days that is why i am posting only one video every week otherwise i was posting two videos very soon i will get back to normal and i will be posting the same way now let's get started with almond barfi recipe i have taken 2 cups of almonds and i will be soaking it overnight for best results nicely wash it and peel that is what i have done next i will be blending all these almonds um using 1 cup of milk this milk is whole milk for 2 cups almond 1 cup of whole milk i will be making a fine paste do not use too much of milk and make this paste runny use very little milk for grinding these almonds now in an open pot i have taken the ground almond paste to that i will be adding 2 tablespoon of ghee and 3 tablespoon of milk powder you can also increase the milk powder some 2 or 3 spoons extra also to that i am adding 1 cup of sugar complete 1 cup 2 cup almonds 1 cup milk and 1 cup sugar that's it if you add too much of milk then you have to extra take cooking time and we don't want to end up standing near the stove cooking for a long time this measurement it will be perfectly fine first 5 minutes it will be thick next 5 minutes it will become little bit loose and last 5 minutes that is uh, when you are going to complete 15 minutes it is going to become thick and it will be leaving the sides of the kadai or the pan you have taken at that time add cardamom powder it is half a teaspoon and few strings of saffron if you want the saffron color you can soak it in milk and add as well i don't want it to be yellow so i just added the saffron strings nicely give it a good mix and off the flames now you take any mold of your choice but sure take a butter paper or an aluminum foil and grease it well and the top i just used little bit of ghee to make the surface nice and smooth that's it leave it to set in fridge for 1 hour that's what i did even on top i just garnish with few more saffron strings after an hour i will be just showing you how nice firm and beautiful cut pieces will be there for this almond barfi it's a very very delicious and very very healthy recipe sure give it a try instead of buying any pedas or any milk sweet from the local market you will know what ingredients you are using in it and it is really very healthy you have seen no any hidden ingredients are here it is pure almond and milk that's it our home made festive special tasty and healthy almond barfi is ready as fall has come i have discarded all my vegetable plants now only plant available is this last tomato plant celebrate tomatoes i am just plucking all the tomatoes when they are ripe now i am done with this plant also for this season my garden is closed only indoor plant will be sitting inside my house my next recipe is also a very wonderful recipe sure give it a try there are few um trial and error also happened in this i will tell you what happened and how i fixed it as well now i am making 
बेसन बर्फी इन अ पैन आई हैव टेकन वन कप ऑफ घी टू दैट टू कप्स ऑफ बेसन दिस बेसन आई हैव नाइसली सिफ्टेड बिफोर एडिंग इट टू द घी टोटली वी विल बी कुकिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स फर्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू मिक्स एज इट विल बी थिक यू कैन सी फर्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स यू विल स्ट्रगल मिक्सिंग इट एज द टाइम गोज द मिक्सचर विल बिकम नाइस लूज नेक्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स इट विल बी लूज बट द कलर विल बी पेल येलो ओनली वेन द कलर स्टार्ट टू चेंज टू अ लिटिल ब्राउनिश कलर दैट इज वेन यू शुड थिंक दैट Yes, we are going to end up. At that time, you have to keep cooking continuously, only on low flames. Do not go more than medium flames. In between, you can keep the flames medium and bring it back to low. Otherwise, your basin will burn and it will turn to very dark brown. We don't want that color. When the basin becomes light brownish yellow and it is aromatic, and see how watery it is. At this point, we will be adding. chopped nuts this is optional you can add nuts even at the end only no problem but cardamom you have to add it at this point itself and give it a nice good mix last 5 minutes nice they give it a good mix and turn off the flames and let it cool completely it took uh, half an hour to 1 hour for me then you can see if it is the, cool down it will become thick like this this is the mistake i made was i added plain normal sugar we should add powdered sugar over here one cup powdered sugar you will need but i added granulated sugar but this granulated sugar uh, had to melt so i had to cook it again if you add powdered sugar you don't need to cook at all just you have to mix it and you have to transfer it into a mold or use your greased hand with the ghee and make laddus both same recipe but you can make it in different ways this because i added granulated sugar i cooked it once again for melting those sugar it took really long time for me to melt it do not do that mistake I knew I have to use powdered sugar but at the last moment only I realized that I don't have powdered sugar and I just instantly added the granulated sugar and end up doing extra work no worries I fixed it finally garnished with chopped almonds my friends this recipe is a very very awesome recipe i kept it for 1 hour in the fridge and it is nice and firm it is not hard at all it was e equally soft and nice firm cuts for the barfi but almond barfi was not so firm but still it is a barfi with a nice soft texture this is a different type of recipe that is a different type of recipe but both the recipes are really really very very tasty and delicious sure give it a try both are equally healthy as well as tasty recipes for this festive season taste wise both the recipes are equally good and the sweetness i have kept was perfectly fine and you can extra add half cup of sugar than what i have given measurement but this mild sweetness will make you eat a lot hope you all try these recipes at home at any festive season if you like my video do like, like share and subscribe to my channel lip tasty be happy thanks for watching bye bye